Too many people have too much anxiety these days. I want to share with you a hypnotherapeutic process that will allow you to alleviate and melt some of this anxiety because it doesn't serve us. People who have anxiety often worry about the future. They come up with worst case scenario, feeling overwhelmed in their mind. It, their mind actually feels like there's a thousand of tabs open and they really can't quiet down their mind. And that of course leads to a lot of internal stress and not able to think clearly, not able to focus clearly. And like I said, very often thinking about the worst case scenario. And that is not useful because that is exactly what often becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and obviously that's not good. And keep in mind, uh, from a scientific, and yes, I will absolutely share this hypnotherapeutic process with you that you can participate in. And that's important for this to work. You have to engage, you have to participate so that you can see how beautifully and how easily this works. And then you can start practicing this more and more often being able to then celebrate positive results in your life. From a scientific perspective, what's happening with a person who spends a lot of time in anxiety, unfortunately is, see there's two nervous system modes that we typically tap into or out of. The sympathetic nervous system mode, um, sympathetic nervous system mode, which is the fight, flight, freeze. I simply call it the stress mode, S, and S, sympathetic for stress. And then there's the, which again, nothing wrong with that, that's a good thing, but not when we spend chronically time in that, in that space, in that state, right? Because the fight, flight, freeze, the stress state is very useful for emergencies, when you need to act quickly, think on your toes and just handle the situation. Phenomenal for emergency situations, right? If we're being chased by the tiger, yeah, we need to act quickly, right? Or again, fight, flight, freeze. That's kind of the point, right? Choose one of those behaviors. Unfortunately though, if we spend a lot of time in that system, what is very difficult in that place, in that state is for us to be able to think clearly and calmly and come up with good solutions and be reasonable and uh, respond appropriately. And this is often when people say, I have such a temper, I acted completely ir irresponsibly or radically or erratically, right? Or, um, you know, let's say somebody cuts you off in traffic and you know, somebody blows up, right? That is typically not a useful state. But again, anxiety often can be a very habituated state. And the problem, not only does it rob us of the ability to think clearly, but it also affects our immune system severely because being in that fight, flight, freeze and that stress state requires a lot of energy. And unfortunately, if our energy is produced to maintain that fight, flight, freeze, right, our body is in a constant state of fight. And you can just imagine, and this is why often people who have anxiety say that they are exhausted, they feel depleted. Yeah, because their system is constantly producing those hormones so that we can fight, flight, freeze. But again, very often that state is not warranted, it's not appropriate, and it's not useful. We're in the parasympathetic nervous system mode, which is what I wanna give you today. I wanna, I wanna show you how you can deliberately and consciously get into that state so that just at the snap of your fingers, you can cause yourself to get into that. So the parasympathetic nervous system mode, the point and the reason is for us to be able to relax, to restore, to heal, to think clearly, to digest. And as you know, you know, when we are in a relaxed state, when we can actually think and focus clearly and calmly, that's when the best ideas come in. That's when the light bulbs show up, right? And all of a sudden, we can see a way through. You know, how many times have you taken a shower where 
most of the time when we take a shower, it's sort of like a little time out where not a care in the world. You just literally are attending to this mundane activity. And often stepping out, you're like, oh, I got it, right? Because even though you didn't consciously cause and create the parasympathetic state, but that's what we go into when we do something like take a shower, right? And so the goal of today's session is for me to show you how you can on purpose get into this parasympathetic nervous system mode so that not only so that you can feel better you can feel more relaxed you can feel more pleasant more calm but you can also turn your thinking mind on more powerfully so that regardless of what problem what challenge what trials tribulations you're faced with you will actually easily and effortlessly be able to create a solution that will serve you. And the truth is, you already know how to do that. But remember, when we're in a stress state, the most brilliant, intelligent, competent human being is not able to think clearly long-term when we're in that state. So give yourself a break. Understand that this is just science, doing what science does, but you can choose which part of the emotional, mental, physical state you want to turn on, all right? You can choose that. You can make that happen. And I'm going to show you how with this process. So for this to work, um, I want you to bring to mind right now this particular, actually pick something very, very specific because, again, I want you to see how in the particular context, in the particular situation, how this can work for you. So right now, bring to mind a specific thing, event, experience, um, future memory, I like to call them, that right now you're worried about. You're not quite sure how you might get through it. Maybe thinking about it causes you to feel nervous and tense and anxious. And like I said, you're worrying about it. Maybe it's you have to get, you know, I, I used to, it's so funny because I remember years ago, um, some of my colleagues and I would get together to practice sales calls because we were all terrified of getting on the phone with, you know, strangers and, and uh, talking about our services and how we can help them. And we all had what they call sales anxiety, right? But even something like public speaking, which is something so many people are terrified about, which by the way, we can literally solve that in one hypnotherapy session. It is not a difficult problem, even though it seems so hard, right? Or So this is a really, really good example. So imagine that maybe tomorrow you have to do a presentation or maybe even you know, being in the boardroom causes you to feel anxiety, whatever it might be. Bring to mind a specific situation scenario that as of now, right now, as you think about it, like, oh, I don't even want to think about it because it's just my nerves are going to get to me. But for the sake of this example, think about that particular thing, okay? And when you have that, just notice how in the past, as you can be there in that experience now, notice how in the past it might have caused you that trepidation, that nerves, that anxiety, that fear, that all these thoughts coming in and, oh, what if this happens and what if that? So just be there now and notice how uncomfortable, how disempowering that felt, how difficult that felt for you, right? As a professional, as somebody who's really generous, well-meaning, you want everything to go well, but obviously we can often self-sabotage because we get into this nervous state. Now, when you have that, just put that scene aside right now because, again, it's just enough to be aware of what specifically you would like to change and refine and embellish with more power. With And by the way, the parasympathetic nervous system, I call it the power state because you literally become empowered, you become encouraged, you become uplifted, you become inspired, you feel more motivated, energized, and enthused than you have in a long time. And that is the goal. Right? When you can just feel so confident and so competent, and when you just feel like, everybody get out of my way, I got this. Right, That's what we want to be in. When you can just feel so relaxed, so calm, so confident in yourself, and maybe, yes, a little excited. Right. So now, 
I want you to imagine that same exact scene, that same exact scenario, but this time, this time, I want you to imagine it's about 15 minutes after, now listen, pay attention to these words, this is very important, it is now 15 minutes after the successful completion. In other words, that event is already done, it's over, it's in the past, it's behind you. But now, you get to look back and you get to celebrate how well everything went. How wow, as you look behind you, as you look at that event, you're like, I couldn't have imagined it going any better. Everything was just perfect. I achieved exactly what I wanted, the way I wanted. I felt so good in that experience. I nailed it. So as you look at that experience, as it is in the past already, because it's already behind you, you already nailed this. Notice, what are you seeing for you to know? That's right, it went really well. Notice, what specifically about you are you sensing? Are you become aware? Are you seeing for you to know? That's right, you nailed it. This went really well. It went exactly the way you want it. 100% results guaranteed. Notice, maybe you're seeing how you acted differently. Maybe you're seeing how your posture was differently, how you moved differently, or maybe even how you breathed differently because you gave yourself time and space to just relax, take some deep breaths, let them out with a sigh, and now notice, what are you hearing about that experience for you to know that, gosh, it went wonderfully well. I couldn't have asked for more. This was amazing. I get to celebrate. I get to appreciate. I get to acknowledge. I get to validate that, yes, indeed, on a scale of 1 to 10, this was a 25. That's right. Notice what might you be hearing. Maybe you sound different. Maybe that self-talk was different. Maybe there no longer was that inner critic, that inner bully. Maybe instead, you felt supported by a voice that loves you, that cares for you, that is curious about you, that has compassion, empathy. Notice what that feels like when you can see now looking back. That's right. How did you feel in that experience? Maybe as if for the first time in your life, you felt actually confident and competent and relaxed and excited about doing it. As you now look at that, notice what you felt. At the same time, maybe you knew that, hey, you know what? If I don't take a risk, if I don't give myself permission to get out of my comfort zone, if I don't build up a little bit of courage, I'm just going to be sitting here on the sidelines and waiting and hesitating and, and, and trepidating, and that doesn't serve me. And so maybe there was a little spark inside of you that kind of gave you a little extra nudge, and you're like, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do the best I can with what I have. And with that, already noticing, Noticing, as you look back now, noticing a new sense of excitement building up inside of you, a new sense of encouragement, courage, and encouragement amplified. Maybe there was a little bit of fire or a big fire lit up behind you and you were actually excited about it, enthused about it. You welcomed it because maybe that's exactly what you needed. And maybe that little voice inside of you kept saying, you got this, you, you're nailing this. Keep going. You're doing good. Don't worry if you make a little hiccup here and there. Next time, we can always clean it up. We can always make it better next time. But just this time, just do the best you can with what you have and give yourself a lot of grace and give yourself a lot of space and let yourself just take one step at a time and notice what you notice when you do that. That's right. And notice now how good it feels to know that it is already 15 minutes after the successful completion. Notice how you feel about yourself, about this experience, about this event, about your self-confidence, about you as a professional, as a person, as a human being. That's right. And now, what happened to that anxiety? That's right. It melted 
away. It dissipated. It disappeared. Because in this experience, there clearly was no room, no room for anxiety. Because all the rooms were filled with excitement, enthusiasm, courage, comfort, in the most delightful way, feeling pleasant, feeling so good about who you are as a person, realizing we all are just human beings, being here for a human experience. And that can sometimes be quite interesting, messy, hard, easy, delightful, destructive, all different kinds of colors and flavors are available, right? And so moving on, the next time you start to, you know, do that thing you used to do that no longer serves you, you're then going to do exactly this. You're going to go out to 15 minutes after the successful completion, you're going to look back and look at all the things that went really, really well. And notice what that feels like. That's right. And so with this little mind hack, you actually, what we actually did here, you already programmed your mind unconsciously and consciously, your subconscious mind to produce what it is you do want instead of what you don't want. Because what people with anxiety do really, really well, and not that you deserve a trophy for this. Here's the thing, okay? Don't take this the wrong way. But what people with anxiety do really well, that let's put an end to that. Unfortunately, they have nailed, they have literally become so good at creating all these bad pictures, bad memories, doom and gloom, worst case scenario. And if that's what we continue thinking about, no wonder we're scared about the future. No wonder we don't have any faith. And so with this little exercise, because I want you to understand how this works, what we actually did is instead of putting in those bad pictures of all the things we don't want, we exchange them with good pictures. What is it that you want to experience? And because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between imagination or memory or future events, the subconscious mind is more interested and invested in your emotions, in your beliefs, in your values, in your morals, in your imagination. And since 95% of our behavior is driven by the subconscious mind, that's right, 95%, then, and this is why I'm such a big fan of hypnotherapy, then why wouldn't we work directly with the subconscious mind to cause changes, changes that we want to experience? And that's exactly what we did today. And you can do this, rinse, repeat, anytime you want. Right? So that public speaking event, instead of seeing all the things that went wrong, you're now going to see all the things that went right. And how people hung on to every word you said. And how relaxed and comfortable. And how connected you were to your audience. And how your message spread across and everybody just felt it. And the, the magnetism was in the room. And you suddenly, as if by switching it, it Flipping a switch, you turned on the charisma, the magnetism, the confidence, the attractiveness inside of you because your audience can feel that kind of energy, right? So let me know how this goes and if there are any other hypnotherapeutic processes or um, interventions you would like for us to do, let me know specifically and we will definitely come up with something that we can work on. All right. Remember to be good to yourself and I'll see you soon.